hello friends i welcome you in lecture number 2 on series in this lecture we are going to discuss about geometric series we will see that how to decide the convergence of a series if given series is geometric series before going for geometric series we understand some remarks uh, suppose sum of series sigma an is a and sum of series sigma bn is b that is if sigma an and sigma bn are convergent series with summation a and b then sigma an plus bn which is the new series obtained by adding corresponding terms of both the series so if sigma an and sigma bn are convergent series then the series sigma an plus bn is also convergent and sum of this series sigma an plus bn is equal to sum of series an plus sum of series bn that is a plus b similarly if we consider the series obtained by taking difference of corresponding terms of these two series then this series has sum which is difference of sum of sigma an and sigma bn that is a minus b okay, so sometimes uh, this first rule is known as sum rule and this second rule is known as difference rule if two series are convergent then their sum is also convergent their difference is also convergent and if we multiply each term of a series by some non zero number k then if sigma an is convergent then this series sigma k times an is also convergent and sum of this series equal to k times sum of series an which is nothing but k times a so this is known as constant multiple rule if our series is convergent and if we multiply each term of this series by some constant then series remains convergent behavior of series does not change now suppose series an sigma an is divergent then if we multiply each term of this series by some non zero number k then also this series sigma k times an is divergent so as we know series is divergent if its uh, sum is not finite so if we multiply with k then also sum is not uh, going to remain finite so if sigma an is divergent then sigma k times an is divergent for any non zero number k be careful here k is non zero number because if k is zero then sigma k n is going to be only zero which is convergent so if k is non zero multiple then sigma k times an is divergent if sigma an is divergent now if we have two series such that one series is convergent and another series is divergent then these two series are divergent these two series are convergent if and only if both the series sigma an and sigma bn are divergent if one of these two series is divergent then these two series are also divergent so sigma an plus bn and sigma an minus bn is divergent if at least one of these two series is divergent so we will use these results whenever required in this uh, chapter okay fine so now we Uh, discuss what is geometric series we are already familiar with geometric series so first we recall what is the definition or what is geometric series so suppose we consider two fixed real numbers say small a and r where this number a is non zero then the series a plus ar plus ar square and so on this is this we can rewrite as sigma a times r raised to n minus 1 n equal to 1 to infinity so in this series if we consider sum of any two 
successive terms suppose we consider sum of second and first term say a into r divided by a then we have r if we consider sum of second and uh, if we consider ratio of third and second term then a r square divided by a r which is r similarly ratio of third term and second term is also r so uh, in this series the ratio of any two successive terms remains constant so therefore this series is known as geometric series with common ratio r so we can obtain each term of the series by multiplying its preceding term by r suppose i know the first term of the series and if i want to write down the second term of the series then i will multiply first term by r i will obtain second term if i multiply second term by r i will obtain third term if i multiply third term by r i will obtain fourth term so each term can be obtained by multiplying its preceding term by this number r so this is the property of geometric series uh, using this property we can decide whether given series is geometric series or not now if our series is geometric series then we have ready made result to decide the convergence or divergence of geometric series so that result depends on the value of common ratio r this this number r is called common ratio of the series uh, here we have written two examples of geometric series 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 and so on so here we can see each term can be obtained by from its preceding term by multiplying with 1 by 2 if i multiply first term by 1 by 2 i obtain second term if i multiply second term by 1 by 2 i obtain third term so every term can be obtained by multiplying its preceding term by r equal to 1 by 2 so therefore this is a geometric series with ratio r equal to 1 by 2 or we can take division of any two successive terms that division is going to be r equal to 1 by 2 so this is a geometric series with r equal to 1 by 2 similarly if we consider 1 minus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 9 and so on so this is a geometric series with r equal to minus 1 by 3 if we multiply 1 by minus 1 by 3 we obtain second term if we multiply minus 1 by 3 by minus 1 by 3 we obtain 1 by 9 so, or we can check the ratio of any two successive terms suppose i consider ratio of 1 by 9 and minus 1 by 3 i will obtain minus 1 by 3 so ratio of any two successive terms is same therefore this is a geometric series with r equal to minus 1 by 3 so now convergence of geometric series depends on the value or depends on the common ratio of this geometric series so Uh, we can uh, discuss that result this result we can use by the definition of convergence of a series which we have discussed in previous lecture using nth partial sum but we are not going for the proof of this result uh, we will assume this result the geometric series sigma a times r raised to n minus 1 n equal to 1 to infinity equal to a plus here i missed one term a plus ar plus ar square plus ar cube and so on this geometric series is convergent if absolute value of common ratio is less than 1 and if it is convergent then sum of geometric series is given by a divided by 1 minus r where a is the first term of the geometric series so we will remember this formula if absolute value of common ratio is less than 1 geometric series has sum which is equal to first term divided by 1 minus common ratio 
and if absolute value of r is not less than 1 that is if absolute value of r is greater than or equal to 1 the geometric series is divergent so we uh, consider some examples to explain this result so we will remember that geometric series sigma a times r raised to n minus 1 n equal to 1 to infinity is convergent if and only if absolute value of common ratio is strictly less than 1. So we consider this example, discuss the convergence of this series and find its sum if it converges. So here we can check whether this series is geometric series or not. So for that first we consider ratio of second and first term. So this is going to be minus 10 by 3 into 5 here 5 will cancel out and we have minus 2 by 3. Now we consider ratio of third term and second term. So 20 by 9 divided by minus 10 by 3 which is minus 3 by 10. So here this 10 will cancel out here. So we can see this is minus 2 by 3. Similarly, we can check the ratio of these two terms. So, ratio of any two successive terms remains same. So, this series is a geometric series with ratio r equal to minus 2 by 3. So, we can write that given series is a geometric series with ratio r equal to minus 2 by 3 and if we find out modulus of minus 2 by 3 it is going to be 2 by 3 which is always less than 1 so because modulus of r is less than 1 given series is convergent that is its sum is finite and its sum is so we write down this uh, series first its sum is 5 minus 10 by 3 next term is 20 by 9 minus 40 by 27 40 by 27 its sum is given by first term divided by 1 minus r here first term is 5 common ratio is minus 2 by 3 so we simplify this this is going to be 1 plus 2 by 3 and that is equal to 5 divided by here we have 1 plus 2 by 3 is 3 plus 2 divided by 3 3 plus 2 is 5 divided by 3 and this is 5 times 3 by 5 which is equal to 3 so this uh, series is convergent and its sum is equal to 3 determine the convergence of this series sigma n equal to 1 to infinity 2 raised to 2n 3 raised to 1 minus n so either we can uh, write our series in this form sigma a into r raised to n minus 1 n equal to 1 to infinity by rewriting this summation or we can write few terms of the series and we can decide what is the value of ratio r but we try to express our series in this form if it is possible so we rewrite this series as 2 raised to 2n can be written as 2 square raised to n and uh, this we can rewrite as negative of n minus 1 3 raised to 1 minus n we rewrite 1 minus n as negative of n minus 1 so you can see this is minus n plus 1 now this is equal to sigma n equal to 1 to infinity this is going to be 4 raised to n and uh, 
uh, we can rewrite 3 raised to minus n minus 1 as 1 over 3 raised to n minus 1. So 2 square raised to n is 4 raised to n and uh, this we rewrite as 3 raised to n minus 1. Again it is not n in that standard form. Uh, we require this type of thing a into r raised to n minus 1. So for that uh, we rewrite 4 raised to n as 4 raised to n minus 1 plus 1 divided by 3 raised to n minus 1. So this is equal to now sigma n equal to 1 to infinity 4 raised to n minus 1 into 4 divided by 3 raised to n minus 1. So now this again we can rewrite as sigma n equal to 1 to infinity 4 times 4 by 3 raised to n minus 1. So now we can see it is in this form a into r raised to n minus 1 which is standard form of geometric series with ratio r. So now this is a geometric series with ratio which is a geometric series with ratio r equal to 4 by 3 by comparing with standard form of geometric series. Now we consider absolute value of 4 by 3, 4 by 3 is positive so absolute value of 4 by 3 is 4 by 3 and this is strictly greater than 1. Therefore given series is divergent because it is a geometric series with common ratio having absolute value greater than 1. We consider one more example here check the convergence of this series sigma minus 1 raised to n into 2 divided by 5 into 3 raised to n. Uh, here we can uh, put uh, particular values of n and we can obtain few terms of this series. So if I take n equal to 0 I have minus 1 raised to 0 which is 1 2 divided by 5 into 3 raised to 0 which is 1. If I take n equal to 1 I have minus 1 so I have minus 2 divided by 5 into 3 raised to 1 that is 3. For n equal to 2 I have minus 1 square that is 1 divided by 5 into 3 raised to 2. For n equal to 3 we have minus 1 raised to 3 which is minus 1 into 2 divided by 5 times 3 raised to 3 and so on. So we have expanded our series for few values of n. Now to check whether this is geometric series or not uh, we take ratio of second and first term that is minus 2 divided by 5 into 3 uh, into reciprocal of this 5 into 1 divided by 2. So 5 will cancel out 2 will cancel out and we are left with minus 1 by 3. Similarly we consider ratio of third and second term which is uh, 2 divided by 5 into 3 square divided by this term so that will be if we consider in the product it will be reverse 5 into 3 divided by 2 with negative sign 2 will cancel out 5 will cancel out 1 3 will cancel out so here also we obtain minus 1 by 3 and if we can check if we multiply this term by minus 1 by 3 we will obtain this term. So this is a geometric series with common ratio minus 1 by 3. So we can discuss about its convergence by taking absolute value of common ratio given series is a geometric series with 
r equal to minus 1 by 3 and absolute value of r is absolute value of minus 1 by 3 which is 1 by 3 and it is strictly less than 1 so therefore because absolute value of r is less than 1 given series is convergent and uh, let me check whether we have to find the sum or not okay we can write down check the convergence of this series and find its sum so given series is convergent and uh, its sum is our series was sigma minus 1 raised to n 2 and here 5 into 3 raised to n n is from 0 to infinity so as we know if the series is convergent its sum is given by a divided by 1 minus r a means first term so here first term is 2 divided by 5 into 1 that is 2 by 5 and common ratio is r equal to minus 1 by 3 so 1 minus r is 1 plus 1 by 3 so this we can and 1 plus 1 by 3 is 4 by 3 so here we have 3 by 4 okay, this is going to be 4 by 3 so 2 by 5 divided by 4 by 3 is 3 by 4 here 1 2 will cancel out and sum of this series is 3 divided by 10 next example find the sum of the following series if they converge so we discuss them one by one first series is sigma n equal to 1 to infinity 3 raised to n minus 1 minus 1 divided by 6 raised to n minus 1 so first we rewrite this series as sigma n equal to 1 to infinity 3 raised to n minus 1 divided by 6 raised to n minus 1 that is 3 by 6 raised to n minus 1 minus 1 divided by 6 raised to n minus 1 now 3 by 6 is 1 by 2 so this we can rewrite as sigma n equal to 1 to infinity 1 by 2 raised to n minus 1 and this we can rewrite as 1 by 6 raised to n minus 1 so now if the series sigma 1 by 2 and raised to n minus 1 and sigma 1 by 6 raised to n minus 1 are convergent then this series is convergent so now uh, we know that sigma n equal to 1 to infinity 1 by 2 raised to n minus 1 this is a geometric series with ratio r equal to 1 by 2 and its absolute value is less than 1 similarly sigma n equal to 1 to infinity 1 by 6 raised to n minus 1 this is also a geometric series with ratio 1 by 6 having modulus less than 1 so these are convergent because they are geometric series uh, with common ratios r equal to 1 by 2 and r equal to 1 by 6 respectively and absolute value of r is less than 1 for both series so because these two series are convergent if we 
consider this series by taking difference of corresponding terms of this two series then that series is also convergent so therefore this series is also convergent and its sum is nothing but sum of this series minus sum of this series so therefore uh, our original series was sigma n equal to 1 to infinity 3 raised to n minus 1 minus 1 divided by 6 raised to n minus 1 which we have rewritten in this way so this is equal to sigma 1 by 2 raised to n minus 1 minus sigma 1 by 6 raised to n minus 1 1 by 2 raised to n minus 1 minus sigma 1 by 6 raised to n minus 1 n is from 1 to infinity now we know that if our series is geometric series in this form its sum is given by a divided by 1 minus r so if we compare first series with this series value of a is 1 and value of r is 1 by 2 so sum of first series is 1 over 1 minus 1 by 2 similarly if we compare this series with this standard form a is 1 and r is 1 by 6 so we have 1 upon 1 minus 1 by 6 so this is going to be 1 by 2 here we have 6 minus 1 that is 5 by 6 so this is now 2 minus 6 by 5 and this is going to be 10 minus 6 divided by 5 which is 4 by 5 so in this way we can decide the sum of the series which is difference of two convergent series here these two series are convergent therefore their series obtained by taking difference of corresponding terms is also convergent and sum is given by difference of sum of these two series second is sigma n equal to 0 to infinity 4 by 2 raised to n sigma 4 by 2 raised to n n equal to 0 to infinity so this uh, we can rewrite by taking particular values of n suppose we consider n equal to 0 we have 4 divided by 2 raised to 0 which is 4 plus 4 divided by 2 raised to 1 which is 2 then for n equal to 2 we have 4 by 2 square for n equal to 3 we have 4 by 2 raised to 3 and so on so this we can rewrite by taking 4 common uh, we have 1 plus 1 by 2 plus uh, 1 by 2 whole square plus 1 by 2 whole cube and so on now this series is a geometric series with ratio r equal to 1 by 2 and its modulus is less than 1 therefore it is convergent so uh, as we have discussed if series is convergent and if we multiply each term of the series by some constant then new series is also convergent and sum of new series is that constant time sum of original series so here first term is 1 and value of r is 1 by 2 okay, so here uh, we are using the fact that we have geometric series this is geometric series with a equal to 1 r equal to 1 by 2 so this is now 4 divided by 1 over 1 by 2 that is going to be 4 into 2 8 so in this way uh, if we can identify that given series is geometric series then we can easily uh, discuss its convergence we have to remember that if given series is geometric series with absolute value of r less than 1 
then it is convergent and if absolute value of r is not less than 1 or if absolute value of r is greater than or equal to 1 geometric series is divergent and if geometric series is convergent then in that case the sum of this series is given by first term divided by 1 minus ratio of this series so this is all about this lecture i hope you like this lecture thank you very much